Hi, I'm Brent Snellgrove. Many of you know me. My wife and I worship on the early service uh, on Sundays, and fourth pew on the right is where we tend to be here. We've been members for a few years now. It's been a real joy. I know that uh, on Sundays, uh, with the coronavirus and some of the things that are taking place, we're distancing ourselves from one another, but it's not how I feel. We are in a uh, special time of, I've never been a part of, I'm 69, seeing some things that I've never seen before. But I come to service on Sunday mornings and I feel refreshed. Uh, Pastor David is bringing us a message that that is wonderful to take with me and as I leave the building. We have the praise band that invigorates and brings the music and prayer. After worship service, I, I go to uh, Jerry Stevens Bible study and, and, and learn more. It's, it's just a beautiful way to spend my Sunday. And then uh, as the day unfolds and I go through the day being refreshed, uh, Monday comes around. And when Monday comes around, some of that freshness starts to wear off. I become, uh, uh, some of the message is not as quick to mind as it was on Sunday. And as Tuesday comes and Wednesday, I begin to wear down some. I don't want to do that. I want to keep that freshness, and I want to keep that invigoration that, that I feel when I leave on Sunday mornings. And, and, uh, but I find that when I turn on the news, I might find myself getting angry. I'll see or th start thinking about some of the challenges in our community with the recent tra tragedy of a young man passing. But there was so much more with the virus, with the flood that occurred in, um, last May, and so many people are having so many difficulties. Businesses are closing. It's hard. I know that I can be judgmental. I don't want to be. I begin to start uh, pointing fingers and feeling frustrated and even angry. Those are not the things that Pastor David is teaching us. Or, and as I start to think about that, I want to recapture that freshness in my life. And so I start to read scripture, and, and of course, that's important. I like to uh, read scripture in a way that places me in the setting of where Jesus is. One of my favorite ways to do that is uh, I like to picture myself uh, in the group of people that are fed with the 5,000 people. I actually pull up on the internet a picture of 5,000 people and realize how large a crowd that was. And I'm in the middle of it. And I see the baskets start to be passed around. And there's an unending amount of food. And how amazed I was as I'm sitting in that crowd with the crowd being amazed. Another setting I like to think of myself is when I'm in... Uh, uh, at his feet, at the uh, when he begins his ministry with the Sermon on the Mount. It's at that time, Sermon on the Mount, Jesus has been baptized by John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Uh, he has gone into the wilderness, and he's been uh, challenged by Satan. And Jesus comes out victorious and defeats Satan. And it's that point he begins his ministry, and as he starts his ministry, uh, he begins to heal all numbers of people. Gradually, groups of people gather, and finally there's, uh, we don't know how many exactly, but Jesus goes up onto the mountain. I think of it as a hill, and he's, st he's up on this hilltop, and he wants to teach the people. I'd like to be thinking that I'm at his feet. I actually try to visualize myself looking up at him. Then he starts to say something. There's some rustling in the crowd, and, and, and people are uh, talking, and, and then 
a hush. Why? Jesus is saying something. Shh, quiet. And then he says the first words of the Beatitudes of Sermon on the Mount. He says, Blessed are the poor spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What? What did he just say? The poor spirit is how I feel. I don't want to be judgmental. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be frustrated. I want the refreshness that happens to me when I leave on Sunday morning. And, and I know that I am falling short. And then I hear Jesus' words, and he says that, yeah, even somebody like me, even someone that is a sinner or is falling short of where he wants to be, that the kingdom of heaven is for you. Perhaps some of you struggle with some of the same things I do. I, I think we all have issues in our lives that, that perhaps other people don't necessarily see. I know that a uh, dear Christian brother said to me one time that uh, I was angry with a situation that was taking place in the world, and I said, I just can't pray for those people. And he said, Brent, I want you to try different words. And I said, what's that? He says, try not yet. That's how I feel in my walk with Jesus. I'm working and wanting to be a better man. And not yet. As I look at Scripture and as I'm refreshed uh, by reading Scripture and placing me in these different settings, I know that I'm moving in the right direction. But I'm not yet there. I'm a sinner. And I'm thinking about the publican and the, and the Pharisee. And it's recorded where uh, the Pharisee with a puffed-out chest and saying that I tithe and, and I obey the Sabbath and the law, and he has this puffed-out chest and being such a godly man. And, and then at the temple, there's another man, a tax collector, a publican, and he can't even raise his eyes to heaven. He says, I'm a sinner. And Jesus looks at those two men and he says, the man, the tax collector, he is more justified before God. That's the man I want to be in a way. And I don't want to sin. I don't want to fall short. But I don't want to be the man with a puffed out chest trying to show how perfect he is. I'm just another guy doing his best. But as I read scripture and as I go through it and as I start picturing myself in these different settings, I know that the promises are for me and they're for each of us. Love you so much. Uh, worship service is such a special time. We're getting close to uh, getting closer to next Sunday where we can all come together and once again being refreshed and encouraged by our pastor and, and by the music and and by prayer and by our fellowship. I love you so much. Make it a great rest of the week. God bless.